Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today I got a little quick project. Uh, I'm going to knock this out, and I started not even to film this, but I'm going to do uh, some threading on this rod a little bit different than the way I normally do it, and I uh, thought you guys might enjoy seeing it. It should be a fairly quick job, but real simple. What I've got here is a rod. Uh, I've got a, a customer that wants me to turn this down to three-eighths of an inch, a half inch on either side, and uh, thread it to three-eighths uh, 16 I think is what it is on those little ends. This is going to be a, a lever on a little uh, press, a little um, arbor press, and I, I think he's got some caps that screw in on either side of this is what he's needing. He's needing a new rod. So I was able to order a rod in the correct diameter, so I don't have to do any turning there. Uh, this piece is 12 inches long. He wants it 10, so we're going to cut up about two inches off one end. Come over to the lathe, turn those down, but again, my threading I'm going to do a little bit different, and we'll get to that in a minute. Let's get started. First step here is uh, cut a little bit of excess off the end, and I'm using my Morse Metal Devil saw here. To, uh, should make short work of that. over on the lathe now and uh, what we want to do again is turn this down a half inch to three inch in diameter. We're going to face that in and I'm going to start by facing that in. inch roughly so I'm just going to put a mark on there I don't think that depth is anything critical so we'll come in here touch off and turn down to that shoulder inch. Get a measurement on this diameter here and looks like we're at at 50, we'll say 508, 0.508. I'm going to put that in my digital readout, 0.508, enter, and we're going to 375. Right on the money, 375. Okay, so that is 3 8 and uh, I'm gonna put a little chamfer on the end of that, break those corners. We'll hit that leading edge pretty hard. That's where the uh, threading's gonna start, and then while I'm in here, I'm just gonna real lightly just touch that and break that corner. All right, let me get set up for my threading and I'll show you what we're going to do. So here's the challenge on this part. Normally when I'm threading on the lathe, I just single point thread it uh, and do it that way. But I've got to come up fairly short entrance here and pull out and got a shoulder that I'm going up against. And I'm just going to use a die to do this. And I'm just using a regular die like you'd put in a hand die stock. But uh, got a little trick here. So I've got this little piece here. This is uh, got a Morse taper on the end that fits in my tail stock. And what you got is an area up in the front where you mount your die. But if you look, this thing, it, it floats. So you can pull your die stock up on your, or your tail stock up, kind of push into it. And whenever it engages, it just freely pulls in and you just stop the machine when it gets right there to the shoulder, reverse it and pull it back off. And you're basically just using a everyday common die like you would use for uh, uh, hand, hand threading. So 
I've, I've got a couple of different sizes of these, uh, these uh, pieces here. I've used them before, it's been a really long time. I don't think I've ever shown it in a video. And uh, anyway, I thought this would be a good place to do it. So we're just gonna put that on there and try it out. So let's mount our, our piece here in the machine. Now with these dies, there's a side that you start on and then there's this, the other side. The side that you start on, it kind of flares in. It kind of tapers in so that you got a nice full thread on the back side. We want to make sure we're starting on the correct side there. And I'm going to start by just putting this die right in here. There's a set screw that we can tighten that up with. There's a little dimple that that fits down into right there. And there's a couple of other set screws on here too. This set screw kind of goes into that split and can kind of widen it up. I'm just going to go ahead and just snug these other ones in as well. This one can push on that and close it up to make it a little bit tighter uh, fit. I think that's fine right there. And uh, I think we're ready. So I'm going to slow my lathe down. We'll just kind of bring this in. I'll push on that and let it go in. And then whenever it gets to the end, we'll stop the lathe and back it off. All right, let me slow the machine down. All right, I've got my lathe slowed down. We're only on, what is this, 28 RPMs. Um, I don't want to do it with a lot of speed. I want to have control over it. Camera's in the way while I'm doing this, but that's all right. And we're going to come in. Let's get that. All right, looks like it's going in now. I'm gonna stop it right there and we will reverse the lathe. And back it out. There we go. And we have our threads cut on the end. And just confirming that we got good threads and we do. There we go. So a little bit easier way of threading. You know, I like this technique when we're doing fairly short threads and again, kind of going up to a shoulder like that. Probably what I'll do is uh, at the very end, I'm going to take this die, put it in a hand stock, I'm gonna turn around backwards and I'll thread it up on there backwards so that we can get that, that thread with the taper, basically take the taper out of that so that we got a good threads all the way up to the shoulder. All right, I'm gonna flip this thing over, do the other side, exact same process, and um, we'll catch you in a little bit. All right, we got our other side turned down. I tried to get my chuck a little bit tighter this time. I was slipping the first time it wasn't wanting to get started or when it got started, it was the stock was slipping in the chuck. I had to get it really, really tight. Hopefully we got it this time. I'm going to come in here. We'll try to get it going here. And it looks like it's pulling up on there now around here where I can see what's going on and we will stop it when it gets to that shoulder. Right there. Reverse the lathe. My lathe reverses via a motor starter so I usually try to let it wind down a little bit before I let up on it and we'll let that come right off. There we go. Easy peasy. Now, I am going to finish these by hand. Again, this is the back side of the die. This is the side that basically is the final size. And now that I've got the threads up on there, I'm just going to basically just put this on backwards. And when it gets down in the bottom, notice it gets tight because remember, on the other side, it's tapered up to that shoulder uh, or up to the bottom of the thread. And basically, what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting those threads to full depth all the way to the shoulder. 
and it's only about a turn or so and uh, all's good there. So now we got good threads basically all the way up to that shoulder and uh, we'll flip this part around and just touch up the other side. Do the same thing. There we go. And this job is done. Just to confirm, there's a nut with the threads that we want and we'll be able to thread right up on it. Real simple part. Uh, like I said, I started not even show a video on this, but I thought you guys might enjoy seeing that little uh, die tool that you can use on the lathe for threading. If you're uncomfortable doing single point threading, uh, that is a quick little cheat, I guess you could say. It works just fine. I still prefer single point threading in most situations. And uh, if you got a lathe and you're scared to try single point threading, get over your fear. Go out there and practice. It's not near as hard as it looks. And uh, that is the preferred way to cut most threads. But on something short into a shoulder like that, a, uh, a die is a good option. And there are other types of dies that you can use on a lathe as well. Um, uh, they have geometric die heads and stuff, really more for production work, uh, that do an excellent job of, of th cutting threads uh, using a die. But uh, for a quick one-off job, uh, using just a regular hand die is often a easy enough way to do it. And you can use a little tool like the one we just used there to get that done. Well, I know someone's going to ask about this tool and what's it called, where can you get it? The one I've got does not have any markings on it as far as a name of who made it. In fact, I've got another one, it's a different size over in my toolbox. And uh, it's the same story. It's made almost identical to this, although it's clearly a different manufacturer, but same principle. And it too, no names, no brands, whatever. Uh, I've always called these a floating die holder. And uh, if you get on the internet and search for that, you, th they'll, they'll come up. Um, I haven't gone out looking to see where you can purchase them from. Uh, I'm sure that you can find them on eBay, if nothing else, uh, used ones or even new ones. And I would be willing to bet that most of the, the tool uh, companies out there, you know, MSC, Travers, uh, et cetera, et cetera, they probably have them as well. So uh, you can look for them there. But it is a handy little tool. I don't use mine very often, but when the job comes up that it's just right for, it is just the right tool. And uh, anyway, I thought I'd show you guys that. It's a, it's a neat little item to have in the arsenal. And with that, guys, that is going to be a wrap. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I know this was a little short video, but I uh, thought you guys might enjoy seeing this floating die holder in action. And it's something that I don't use often again, but... Uh, anyway, it's something interesting, something different on the channel. And with that, that will be a wrap. As always, thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for watching the videos. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you get notifications when new videos are posted. And uh, comments, are, as well as those thumbs up, are always appreciated. And guys, with that, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.